So you're thinking about making the move to Tulsa, Oklahoma, and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Tulsa, Oklahoma and the surrounding suburbs. Well, today we're going to do what we always do. We're going to look at three different houses in three different price ranges. That way you know how far your budget can stretch in the Tulsa area. And today we're going to be looking in Midtown Tulsa. But first, we're going to have a little twist. I am going to show you one of the best places in Oklahoma, period. So one of the most common questions that I get asked is, you know, what is there to do in Tulsa, Oklahoma? Can you be active outside in Tulsa, Oklahoma? If I'm visiting Tulsa, where should I go? And out of those three questions, my answer all revolves around one place, and that is the gathering place. And I am telling you, this place is absolutely incredible. So the gathering place is a hundred acre park and it is the largest private donation of a city park in U.S. history. And not only that, what is also equally amazing is that there's also a hundred million dollar endowment to make sure that the park keeps going, that the maintenance of the park keeps going for the next hundred years. And I was reading an article the other day and it said the maintenance of the gathering place to keep it up is five to seven million dollars a year. So the George Kaiser Family Foundation, which I'll talk about more in just a little bit, you know, created this endowment. And so it's got the money working for it to where it can fund the park maintenance, you know, for the next hundred years. A lot of times, you know, things are amazing and great and get funded, then the maintenance doesn't. So this is just amazing. And to tell you a story, so we are out, we are behind the lodge, and the lodge is a space that I'm going to take you into. It's a great space. Uh, there's a place where you can study and work, where it's quiet. There are places where you can sit and talk and inside and have more of an active conversation. You know, you don't have to be quiet. Downstairs is the Red Bud Cafe, which, you know, we're downstairs, but if you see like all this seating behind me, one day I was in the lodge working and literally i always go and sit by the windows because there's these floor to ceiling windows in the lodge i want to show you there were workers here employees who were drying off the dew from the seats and so that just made an impression on me because you know the mission of the gathering place is you know for an amazing place for you know every tulsa for everybody visiting tulsa you know no matter your background no matter your economic situation, like this is a, you know, this is a free place to go and it's just absolutely beautiful. So they take care of it like you would a country club. So you go in here and you just feel like you're in this wonderland and I can't really describe it any other way other than this amazing wonderland. And if this is your first time to our channel and you want to know everything that there is to know about living in Tulsa, Oklahoma or the surrounding suburbs, then tap that little bell notification and subscribe. That way you can be the first to know what's going on in our local Tulsa area real estate market. I'm Sabrina Shaw, a local real estate agent here in the Tulsa area. And my team and I get calls every single day from people just like you who need help making that move to Tulsa, Oklahoma. And let me tell you, we absolutely love it. You know, so whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, jump on a Zoom call, and we would love to help you make that seamless move to Tulsa, Oklahoma. So back to the gathering place, you know, whether you're alone with your family, your young kids, your older kids, um, you know, someone special, really the gathering place is such a great place to go. It's like a dream for kids. These play structures are absolutely beyond incredible and you know their little imaginations are just working and growing. You know, you can work or study here. I've passed a lot of people working. There's walking paths, kayaks, areas to just lounge around, eat, exercise your mind, exercise your body. I cannot wait to show you everything and for you to experience it for yourself. Okay, so if you want to work in a quiet area, then you come upstairs in the lodge. So it's air conditioned, it's heated, it feels amazing in all seasons. The aesthetics are amazing. The architect used modern traditional design and 
Also using the elements of Oklahoma for a very natural design. So those aesthetics, I'm going to show you those. There's floor to ceiling windows where you can just sit and look up to the Wi-Fi, you know, work, study for hours. Okay, so this is the parlor area and you don't have to be so quiet in here. Uh, you've got someone playing their guitar, you've got people still studying. It's not like a designated quiet area. I don't know if you saw the footage of the study quiet area upstairs. Um, there were some ladies knitting and of course there was still conversation. I mean people were just still talking but you were just a little bit quieter about it. Downstairs, we have the Red Vest Cafe, and you can get, you know, danishes, ice cream, sandwiches. There's a shop where you can get uh, some memorabilia, memorabilia uh, waters, t-shirts, candy. There's a couple areas to sit, but not very much. But you can bring your food, you know, upstairs, go outside, and lots of places to eat. And I want to give a huge thanks to the George Kaiser Family Foundation. They are an amazing philanthropic group uh, that really spearheaded the gathering place and funded a very large portion of it. They did involve, you know, over 80 philanthropic and corporate entities to also help fund the project. But the George Kaiser Family Foundation is still involved in, you know, making everything work and sustain. Also, just to give you some history on, jo on George Kaiser, you know, he was born in Tulsa. He is a billionaire philanthropist. Uh, he has made the commitment to give, you know, half of his fortune away to philanthropic, to philanthropic causes. His family uh, immigrated from Nazi Germany and he has the heart for kids and, you know, just believes that every child, you know, no matter the circumstance, deserves the opportunity to succeed. And you can tell that in everything that he does. He is, you know, a very amazing human. And another thing George Kaiser Family Foundation does is Tulsa Remote, and that's where they pay remote workers to move to Tulsa, and they'll pay you $10,000. So it's something that you apply for. I have a video of it on my YouTube channel, so you might check it out. Michael Van Valkenberg and Associates did the design work here, and they are the team at, that did the Brooklyn Bridge Park. And <laughs> by any means, I am certainly not an expert, but you definitely get the feeling that the gathering place is a masterpiece. Well, there are over 400 species of plants, 16 acres of wildflowers and grasses uh, that mimic the tall grass and the short grass prairies that are native to Oklahoma. There are 120 feet of suspension bridges, a five acre assortment of playgrounds. Okay, here we are at the Chapman Adventure Playground and this is a five acre, just magical area for kids and it encompasses, you know, several different play areas. There is the spiral connector and it has seven different towers. They have climbing structures, slides, suspension bridges, puzzles. There's instruments. Each tower is completely different. There's the land of the river giants. It's got these big blue heron structures. Kids can climb out there. They can climb out on the paddlefish. There is so much for each age group. Like you have to come explore. And here is a fun fact. The trees that were removed during the gathering places construction, they were recycled into play features and furniture in the playground. Not only were they trying to 
preserve you know as many trees as possible they also wanted to increase the amount of trees they wanted a lot of shaded areas so there are 5800 more trees 100 different types that were planted at the park okay so moving on to you know kayaking in the boathouse you have this amazing building it's three levels it has the vista restaurant in it which it used to be open now it's for private events it used to be open to the public and now it's more for private events and you can rent out the area the pavilion of the boathouse is has a 35 foot view it's got great views of the arkansas river of downtown tulsa of the park itself the building itself is 21,000 square feet and it is absolutely you know just amazing and when you look at the aesthetics and then of course I don't know if you can see it, but you'll see it in the other video. Like you can do kayaking, and so it's got like the boat dock and the kayaking. You've got the sports courts, you've got the BMX areas. You can actually cross over to the Riverside Trails area. There's two 300 feet land bridges that you can cross over. We've got the Great Lawn right here behind me. There's volunteer opportunities if you want to volunteer at the gathering place, and there are tons of educational opportunities for kids. They'll have yoga on the lawn, they'll have movies on the lawn. There's just so much, so much fun to be had here. Okay, I know that you are ready to go check out some houses now, and I'm telling you, I just touched on a little bit of what the Gathering Place has to offer. There is so, so much more that I didn't touch on, but let's go check out our three houses in Maple Ridge. And I forgot to record this, but I'm gonna put it at the front of the video. It is, uh, it's the end of May, um, so it's like May 20th, it's May 20th, and it is 76 degrees right now. So it's been a beautiful May. It's been pretty rainy, uh, but I do want to start trying to tell you what the weather is like. Um, partly cloudy. Um, it seems, you know, it seems pretty sunny, to, you know, to me today, but it's a little bit cloudy. It's not full sunshine, but 76 degrees and beautiful, perfect patio weather. The houses that we're looking at today are all in Maple Ridge. Now, Maple Ridge is a historic district in Midtown Tulsa that surrounds the Gathering Place. It's really probably the most known area in Midtown, and Maple Ridge is going to run, you know, north to south from 15th to 31st Street, and then basically from Riverside to Peoria. Um, you know, from 15th Street to 21st Street, it doesn't quite go to Riverside. It's like around Cincinnati, around the river, and it's made up of four districts. So you have the North District, the Riverside District, the middle district and the south district. So today our highest price house is in the Riverside district and our lowest and our middle priced houses are in the south district. So we're not gonna see anything in the north or middle district today. And one thing to note in Maple Ridge is because it backs up totally to the gathering place, um, especially where we're at right now on uh, 30th street is there's um, no parking signs all throughout. So, you know, that was one big problem when the gathering place first opened is people were parked, yeah, people were parked, you know, all along the street, you know, along people's houses, um, you know, all through their yards. And so people had trouble getting in and out of their driveways. And so they have put, um, you know, signs up all throughout the neighborhood and your car will be towed if you park. Now, the further you get back, it um, it doesn't do that, but people really don't want to walk that far. And there's really plenty of parking, plenty, plenty of parking at the gathering place. It's just when it first opened up in 2018, it was, um, it was so popular, there wasn't any parking. So they had to take precaution. Now, our first house is a two bedroom, two bathroom house that was built in 1939. It is $450,000 um, with 1,998 square feet, putting that price per square foot at $225. They actually have people working on it right now, so I'm going to show it, um, we'll pass by it, but I'll show it to you, you know, through the computer. And this house is in the South District of Maplewood and specifically Travis Park subdivision. And most of these houses are gonna be in the late 1930s to the early 1940s style houses. There's several, your construction homes. You know, there's a portion of people that will buy a house in this area for the lot and tear it down and put up a new build.
So on one of my last YouTube videos, I was talking to a lady who grew up in the area and her family wanted to buy new construction, but they didn't want to move because they loved the area. And so actually herself and her neighbor uh, tore down their houses and built new. So you do see that happening from time to time. Okay, so in this area, you're going to be, you know, in the fours, you know, all the way around to that million dollar mark. So our next house is a, it's a three bedroom, three full bath, one half bath house, um, priced at $925,000. It's 3,571 square feet, putting that price per square foot at $259. It was built in 2005. And again, we're still in the South District of Maple Ridge, but we're in the Sunset Terrace subdivision. And the houses here are going to range, you know, mostly in the 1920s and 1930s, but there's still, you know, several homes that were built after, and there are, you know, some newer construction homes too. And also there's no HOA in Maple Ridge, but there is a membership that you can be a part of, and it's $100 a year. And that goes towards, there's like 30 shared spaces. So that goes towards manicuring them. The neighborhood does a lot of fun stuff. They do, they're getting ready to do the 5K uh, Memorial Day run. They're really great at supporting local small businesses, you know, especially, you know, through social media, the ones that are walkable. So let's check out the rest of the neighborhood. Our third house, we're on Boston Avenue. Uh, this is an absolute beautiful street. Um, one thing about Maple Ridge that is just fantastic and that you've probably noticed is, you know, all the beautiful, huge tree, manicured landscaping. People, you know, there's really a pride of ownership. Again, we are in Midtown, uh, so you do pay a premium for the location. We're in the Riverside District uh, edition right now, and these houses are going to be uh, 1920s, 1960s, and you will have some 2000s for the, um, but for the most part, they're gonna be, you know, the 20s and 60s. And the great thing about all these homes is the proximity to Riverside Trails, the Gathering Place, uh, downtown Tulsa, Brookside. You've got local restaurants, great shopping. You're close to Utica Square, and there are all kinds of boutique shops. Uh, you're close to Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, and Reesers. A very walkable area and easy highway access. And our third house is four bedrooms. It's four full baths and one half bath. The house is priced at $1.5 million. It's 4,434 square feet, putting that price per square foot at $338. The house was built in 1929. It does have an in-ground pool. And as you can see, it's got the gated entrance. But again, all the houses that I showed you today are just so convenient. You are in such a walkable area. So there is your peak at Maple Ridge. And if this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you're thinking about making that move to Tulsa, Oklahoma, whether it's nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, uh, jump on a Zoom call, and we would love to show you around town.